Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to try to look at YouTube chat. Yes, and we don't know if that's going to work, but we're here. We're Doesn't ready. Go back to Twitch chat for episode eight of Dev Shorts. We have an agenda. We have 15 minutes on the clock. No more, no less. Bear with us as we work through this fine Dev Shorts March edition, which is a very special month for us for Warframe in these parts. My name is Rebecca Ford, and I will be taking you through an agenda. I'm joined by Steven Sinclair, who is currently navigating his YouTube to see if he can find us on YouTube. Yeah, it's, it's, like it's not going, going well. So well. Yeah. That's okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome, Steve. Hi, thanks for having me. It's great to have you here. Let's start talking about March for Warframe. Big month. Dante Unbound is shipping this month. So we haven't given you a date yet, but we haven't we have given you a month, so you're in that month. Now you <laughs> Now you probably want to know when in the month it's going to happen, but I won't tell you. But uh lots of things in this update. So each dev shorts from now until launch. I'm so bummed it's not showing up. Literally hit the live button. Just hit it and see what happens. It's just I was testing you. I was testing you. You can listen to me <laughs> reb explain you. Oh, boy. What does YouTube chat say? YouTube chat says, guys, found you guys on YouTube. Am I the only one noticing the camera? Are we being watched? What does that mean? I don't know. That's unsettling. Ooh, that's unsettling. I'm glad I checked out this chat. Uh, now, okay. now I have more paranoia than I already did. All right, March, Dante, what do you need to know? Well, uh, there's lots happening, lots lots of changes, lots of quality of life fixes, but things you already know, of course, is Dante is coming with a um, Unbound expansion to the deep, or, well, to the uh, Intradi Labs tile set. Yes. There's yes. some things available for you. If you're rank five in the Cavia Syndicate, you'll be able to access Deep Archimedia, which is our sort of uh, string together missions where you can decide the difficulty to get a whole bunch of rewards. Lots of stuff in the dev stream overview. You can hug the Cavia members. You can show affection or offer comfort to uh, both, well, not both, to Bird3, uh, Fibonacci, and Tagfer. And lot, lots of nice little things there. But in terms of QOL, we're going to focus on a couple today for this uh, dev short. One is a reminder that Call, the Archon shards available from Call are going to be moved to the Cavia for you to get one per week there. The Cavia uh, Syndicate will allow you to buy one shard per week on the same schedule that you used to be able to do it from Chipper and Call. And that the Ascent Fusion mechanic is launching in Dante Unbound, which is you can take three Archon shards. Not four? Not four. You can take three. <laughs> well, that's three. And you can turn them into a Tau Forage. So say you've bought three... Are you doing the Inglorious Bastards thing? Doesn't that out him as like the wrong? I think so. I think he shows the wrong count in the bar, and his cover is blown. The Germans do it like this. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Like yes that. Well, no, yes, I'm not yes. doing that because I'm not in a movie. This is real life. And as a result, we are giving you three of the uh, shards, archon shards. You can turn into a tau forged. That's the vibe. Dante Unbound. We are also adding disruption to the Intradi tile set, wherein there are some QOL improvements for uh, sound and being able to find the demo list, but whatever we're calling the demo list in the Intradi world, of course. Galvanized mods for Melee? Uh, we're not adding any new galvanized mods anytime soon. Never say never, but not currently on the docket. That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Why can't you get twist drops on the iPhone anymore? Ask Jeff Bezos. I don't know. Hmm. Maybe you can. Maybe is that from can. our side, or I, is that uh, Twitch changes their APIs yeah. quite frequently? I don't know. Okay, we'd have to look into that. Uh, someone, someone says sadness, but you know what? Maybe you should be happiness instead. Well, maybe that's your problem. I don't think it's quite that simple. Pick the wrong emotion. Uh, mm -hmm. It's never that simple. Uh, Bird three merch win. Bird 3 merch did get made. You yeah. can buy the fluff, the, well, there was a campaign to get enough people interested in the Bird mm -hmm. 3 thing to mm -hmm. ship the Bird 3 thing, mm -hmm. and I think we hit the milestone. Yeah, we hit the milestone the as far as I know, so, yeah. yeah. Yep. Look it up on our channels. I don't actually. Greg, can you tell us about the new Incarnan Onos and how it will work? Ooh, there's the Onos and the Ruvox. Two Incarnan weapons are coming with Dante Unbound. Both of them are earned in the actual uh, Intradi Lab experience. They're, you don't get these ones from the Zeremen nor Dubiri. So cool. you'll, cool. Have to, you'll have to play to learn a bit more about oh, them. Oh, no spoilers? No, you're not going to reveal your secrets? Uh, no. 
Uh, but one correction I wanted, to, it's not really a correction, it's more of like an elaboration, and I probably should have told Someone's doing unstuck in uh, YouTube chat. Does that work? No. Will that unstick you from Warframe? But sticky put... corners, QOL, Dante Unbound. Oh, this is the one that goes out. Yeah. Oh, okay. In March. That's so sticky... awesome. We need like um like a, a send off for sticky corners. I know, we have to have a whole ceremony. I know. Yeah. Uh, uh, what else do we have going on? We have uh, a lot of great questions in here. Uh, someone says, we want new stuff. And I mean, you're just talking about Dante Unbound yeah. coming soon, this month, but... Okay, so Not if you think of sure when if yet. you think of the January dev stream, we had a slide in that dev stream that mentioned that we're going to expand Axie fissures to new tile sets. Do people remember this? So, for instance, we were saying, "Wow, we have these beautiful tile sets like the Zeramin and the Entrati Labs and Lua. Like, what if you could run relics there?" Do people remember this? Do you remember this? Do you remember this? YouTube think, chat, we're think, relying I on think, you. I think there's a bit more latency here. Oh uh, shoot! Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I well, did, they're still reacting to Sticky Corner, uh, or maybe my phone's kind of slow to, to I don't know. To uh, nevertheless, the important thing is we actually have like a full feature write up on that, or there will be a full feature write up that to explain what's coming. Oh. I want to, we want to give it to everyone before the update launches, just so you can kind of get a sense of what we're doing. Yep. But it's actually not going to be just Axie fissures. We're calling them Omnia fissures, wherein you can open a Lith relic in one of the Omnia fissures, which only occur in like the special areas. So you. Lith, uh, Meso. Fissures only occur Neo. in a special area? I'm just saying, I will do a better job of communicating this very soon. I just wanted to update people from that January DevStream slide. With people what are the, excited about that. Yep. With what the so feature oh, actually nice. is. Yep, cool. We're adding a, well, okay, so you have your four eras of relics. You have your Lith, you have your Meso, your Neo, and your Axie. Then you have your special Requiem relics. Requiem Requiem relics, and then we're adding the Omnia relics to the new tile set areas where you can open any of the four era specific relics. In yep. that's the plan. Uh, positive reject. Positive. Re I almost said positive rejection. <laughs> I'm gonna positively reject. Positive rejection. No, thank you for your time. No. Uh, uh, lots of good reactions from that. People seem interested in that. Uh, she's. Someone says you look annoyed at me. So there's that. That's probably true. Um, yep, yeah, my job in the conversation apparently is to derail the conversation. Sorry about that. I'm trying to read chat as well. That's kind of my job uh, to, right now. Uh, someone's saying, Reb, any future Railjack updating plans? We'll have to talk about that in a few I, I've seen a few things that are maybe in the distance. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone's asking about uh, DX12, Vulcan build, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I have an agenda, you know. Oh. <laughs> agenda item, DX12. What's, uh, what do we got? What a coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence. Uh, yep. The... The prefetch, so we get rid of the, the hitching in DX12, is uh, still a little bit of work in progress, but things are looking much better in that regard. I also could, could I also talk about IOS a little briefly? IOS agenda item. Okay. IOS. IOS. You're just, IOS you're just, FPS. You're just, you're just proving that uh, that you added it, eh? Uh, yeah. Last week, uh, the team uh, has been working hard on uh, ironing out issues, and last week. They shipped an update that makes loading... I'm going to mess this up, and the computer scientists, people are going to get really irritated with me, but uh, made loading five times faster. Yes, so we deployed... Literally five times yeah, faster. There was a significant, significant quality of life patch that went out with uh, the launch support. Yep. Did, we, did we add the FPS toggle? FPS toggle's yep. in there. The crazy improvements to load times. They figured out what that issue was. Um, which was uh, frame throttling not being accounted for when uh, allocating the streaming budget to I.O. And also, like, the launcher was stuck for some people. Yep. They had, like, white squares yep. or, like, it wouldn't retry. They fixed that as well. And then this week they're working on crashes. We're still getting crashes in uh, the audio yes, system, sometimes yes. at the end of a mission, a busy mission. And they are working on the little hitches when you first start the game, which is similar, actually, problem to uh, DirectX 12, where you get uh, these uh, the PSO yeah. com compilation things. It's sort of a modern uh, API malaise, but uh, yeah. So there we if go. you or someone you know um, had any, you know, either load time issues, weren't happy with load times, give it another try give and another try. Yep. stay tuned for the next it's update. Be awesome. As well. uh, and then someone is asking, oh, 
Well, like, okay. Is, is Soul Frame on the agenda? No. Would you like it to be? Just briefly. Okay, well, fine. We'll fold that into agenda item, Steve. Steve, what's going on? Uh, and then, so, uh, we shipped uh, Prelude's kind of 1.1, which has a new Fae, uh, changes to the Fae class that we have. Uh, and we're uh, shipping an update today, which uh, fixes DirectX 12 issues. <laughs> Speak of it's DirectX connected. 12. <laughs> Someone broke it. Who? We'll never know who, who broke it. Who? who broke the shading in DirectX 12. Totally not my fault. And uh, then we're going to be inviting 10,000 more envoys to join us. Can I join? Uh, no. Okay. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, that... Okay, so there, there's... Not until we have infested liches. See, see what I did there? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. We had ourselves our soul frame agenda. Back to Warframe. Were, back to Warframe. Uh, St. Patty's Day uh, festivities have launched. So if you're looking for weekend alerts with the Corpus, we have some cosmetics. The St. Patrick's Day uh, event stuff is in game right now. It's live. You can get yourself some goodies. Look forward to some weekend alerts to do some some fine and lucky activities in Warframe. Fine and lucky activities. <laughs> the finest and awesome. luckiest of activities. We also announced agen next agenda item, Tenocon tickets for the in-person event go on sale on March 28th. So again, a lot's happening in March. We are launching the ticket sales for Tenocon 2024. If you want to come to the in-person event, the ticket sales begin on the 28th of March. Set your calendars. There are a limited amount. Uh, good luck out there. They sell out real fast these days. I remember Tenocon 2016. We weren't sure if it was even going to sell out and now they sell out in a day so um and we'd love to see you and yes. if you don't get a ticket or you can't make the travel Th we're gonna have tons of online stuff tons of online stuff yep. it's gonna be absolutely a great day to learn all about soul frame and nothing about warframe that is not true it's <laughs> not true but uh if you want if you um do want to register for cosplay or the community art showcase those forms are available as well so there are things you can do um, if you want to get involved in the cosplay side of TennoCon and or the community showcase side. So if you're working on a piece of art or some type of, um, I don't know, there's more than just art in it, like a model or, or, or anything uh, that you might want to submit, please make sure you're checking the website, warframe.com, and you can learn more about that there. So that's happening in March. We're putting tickets on sale, but we're also... I'm oh. doing a little tech support as well. Someone is saying that their iOS version is not working. It would be amazing if you had... Fox. Huh? Logs. Head to their forums, make a post. Someone can reach out. There's a way to collect logs uh, as well. Is it a four finger tap? Four finger tap. Uh, it will collect logs and uh, we can uh, get those and use that to troubleshoot. Uh, really would appreciate if you are someone who's stuck in, uh, with the IOS build, it'd be amazing for you to reach out and talk to our crew. Uh, they would love to hear from you and, and make it right. Corey's right there. I'll see you on the forums. Oh my God, DE oh, Corey Online. Corey is already... Uh, he's in, in YouTube chat. That's awesome. DE Corey Online. Yeah, so talk to Corey. Uh, he's um, running the community side on the IOS and I would love to... And he's already had some great success. I just We heard today someone had a whole crazy loading problem and it's all fixed up with the latest updates. So reach out. Thank you. Uh, we also have our last agenda item for today is PAX Hype. We are doing DevStream 178 live at PAX on March 22nd. If you want to catch our next dev stream where we have tons and tons of stuff we're talking about this March, March 22nd, live from PAX. It will also be streamed. Watch at home. Come in the live audience. It is going to be streamed. It is. So you can ah, watch it. Because I'm going to miss it because uh, I'm kind of double booked for GDC stuff. Are you giving a talk on GDC? I am on not giving a talk. I'm being, I'm being talked at. Here's at how GDC. to fix DirectX 12. Don't say that. How not to break DirectX 12? Exactly. Positive rejection. <laughs> Positive, Positive rejection. rejection. <laughs> okay, so we went over St. Patty's Day this March. Yep. Dante Unbound this March with lots of QOL. Buff Caliban. Buff Caliban as part of GDC with Steve. Uh, we have... I said it for you, Chad. I said it for... I, I, your name scrolled by, but I'm advocating for you. When are we going to get some Arcwing Necromech updates, Rebecca? Arcwing Necromech? Yes. There's, a, there's a slash in between oh, there. Oh, a slash. You know, yeah. um, well, as y'all may or may not know, for Arcwing, uh, we we had content made for modular Arcwing, but we have no um, design plans or anything to ship that. So that's kind of really a um Why would a you even say that? Because then? I give people the truth. Well, I don't give... This is this is becoming like a. Mm. I I can tell you. Uh, stay tuned, or I can say, yo, we're not working on it. It's up to you. 
you want the version of me? I always like, I always thought wargaming was very funny because if someone in World of Tanks would say like, we should do this, and that devs always would be like, absolutely not. 